everyone, good to see you again. Um, today I'm going to do a haul video on Korean skincare and makeup brands. And I've been investigating two brands particularly. Uh, one is Too Cool for School and the other one is Holika Holika. And they're just so hot right now. So I went to their store and checked out their stuff. And because the prices are so reasonable, so I almost brought the whole store out. Um, anyway, I'm just going to show you what I've got. First, let me talk about the Too Cool for School products um, because I really like that name. It's kind of catchy. The first item I want to talk about is the BB cream. They have a few BB creams, but I picked this one because it's called Pudding Aqua Shaking BB and I heard so many good comments, so I have to try this. It comes in uh, packaging like this and the girl is really cute. The designer I heard is in Germany or something, so it's really, really cool. Um, inside, you get this jar of products, the BB cream, and also a beauty blender. It's pretty cool like and I've used this for a couple times and I've been loving it um, it's very hydrating and I heard the sales ladies that 70% is actually water and the texture is like this so it's not too thick and it's good it has SPF 40 and I will do a review on this product um, on my blog next week so if you're interested stay tuned the next item I got is from Too Cool for School and it's a compact powder which comes in a packaging like this and it has SPF 25 and is um, actually BB cream but in a powder form the packaging is like this and when you open it you get a puff and also the powder whoops like this when I try it at the counter I really really like it because it feels so smooth on skin and I've been trying it a couple days and I review soon so if you're interested <laughs> just stay tuned well I cannot hold a new brand without trying the eyeshadows and I got this it's really cute packaging and that makes me happy um, Okay, this is called Party Time Dual Eyeshadow and Eye Base. So you get two products in this jar of things. And when you twist it, you get the eye base. And this is really, really shimmery. Uh, I'll do the swatch on my blog later on and do the review because I've used it already. So I can comment. And then at the top, you just open this up. And there you go, the gorgeous two color shadows. One is of a shimmery pink and the other one is of a brown color. Uh, both are very shimmery. The brown color is actually with golden shimmer in it. And then I got one of their blush, um, which is a little bit different than other blush that I've got. And it's called Too Cool Art Class. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of paint, doesn't it? And it's a blusher. Okay, so the actual product looks like this. And there are two colors to choose from. Uh, I got peach and there is a pink color. But peach is more of my color, so that's why I got this one. And the cool thing about this is it's a cream base but when it touches the skin, it's actually turned into powder. So it's pretty convenient and I don't usually use cream um, blush because I hate the stickiness, but this one actually turns into powder form. So I am trying it out and see if it's good or bad. And I cannot miss any lip products. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I'm like obsessed. Um, there are actually a few different kinds of lipsticks and lip glosses in Too Cool for School. I just picked one to try to see if I like it. And this one that I pick is called Virgin Gloss Stick. And by the name of it, you can tell that it looks quite glossy on the lips. And I picked this color. Oh, this color, okay, is called Shine Sweet Peach. And it's a peach color. Actually, it's quite orange. Like, it's like this. 
and when I try it at the counter, I quite like it because it has a sheer and shiny finish and I quite like that texture. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet but you know, I review it. Another fun item that a lady actually urged me to buy is called pencil eraser. No, it's not a rubber. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this. Looks kind of like a blackboard. Yeah, can you see the concept? Yeah. And um, it's actually a pen. I haven't opened it yet. Um, but there are two ends to it. And this one helps you to erase any makeup that you don't want on your face or you know sometimes you do an eyeliner wrong and you have to erase it you use this side and then use this side to kind of absorb the makeup and she tried out my hands and I quite like it because it's not oily and you can put other makeup on like immediately after and I I haven't tried it yet but I will do and see how it goes the concept is quite fun, like so. So much about the two comfort school makeup products, and now we are moving on to the skincare products. And I love this because they have both sides. Um, that's the beauty of a brand. And um, the first thing I want to talk about is the Ick Mousse Pack. And by the way, it's a face mask, and um, they call face mask the mask a pack. So don't be surprised, and it's egg related, so you see the pattern, it's quite cool. And the actual products looks like this, and it's a mousse, yeah, I, I think it's fun, because you pump it out, you actually put it on your face, massage it for 30 seconds to 1 minute, and then you let it sit for uh, 3 minutes until you don't see the bubbles anymore. The bubbles actually burst and get <laughs> absorbed and I think that's quite fun. So um, this mask has a function of hydrating, whitening and also I uh, can't remember the last one. Oh tightening and um, I particularly love the function of whitening and tightening. Um, I've used it a couple of times and I think those two functions are brilliant. I'm not so sure about the hydrating though, but I was tried it a couple more times and see how it goes. Another item that I got is a mousse again and it's O2 Bubble Cleansing Pack. So it's bubble cleansing mask. Yeah. And this one is different from the egg one because this one looks like this first start and also when you pump this one out it's actually in a gel form and then you put it on your skin and suddenly it turns into bubbles and after I think five to ten minutes you can wash it out and the sales lady claimed that this is not as drying as the clay mask that we've been using and it also does the job and I'm not sure but I'll try it and see how it goes. Last item from Took Over School. I know I've got a lot of stuff but I'm so excited. And um, this one is called Megali Comb Clean. It's actually a facial cleanser and I love it right because at first they gave me a sample of this size to try. Um, of this cleanser and then I thought wow it is doing something because my face looks so bright after using this. So I was like, oh no, I really have to get this. So I actually went back to the store to get a full size. So you can tell that I was so amazed with the sample that I had to go back. And I have been using it for um, a couple of days again, yeah. And I will do a review and see um, if it's good or bad. I mean, if it's as amazing as it is. Um, so wait for me. Before we move on to the next brand, I have been trying to cook for school stuff this week and all this week and I'm planning to have a to cook for school week next week um, to individually write about the products um, to let you know how I think about them. And um, so if you're interested on a particular item, stay tuned next week on my blog and after I review each item, I'll put a link down below in the info bar um, so that you can check it out. And um, fabulous! So we are moving on to the next brand. It's called Holika Holika. And it's again Korean. 
and they have some fabulous products and I have to show you one thing that really 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 amazed me <laughs> I know I've got some eggs from the store no actually it's egg soap I know don't they look cute and let me open them for you you'll be amazed they actually look like eggs four color eggs yeah I was so happy when I said this. I almost think they were like a toy or something, you know. Um, they got four colors and this is actually a soap that you use to wash your face but each of them has a different function. And the white one is for whitening, the dark one is for um, poor cleansing, like the cleansing. And I forgot the green one actually, but I suspect it has something to do with um, oil control or pimples and stuff like that because usually the products are green. Uh, yeah, and this one is moisturizing. This one actually looks like an egg. Yeah. So, um, some of it you can use it like every day and some of it like this one you only use it once a week and um, I'm looking forward to try it out I mean they look so fun next item I got from Holika Holika is the rose mask I have used up the fresh rose mask and I've been on the look for a new one um, even though I love that one but I like to try new stuff and this one is called Bulgarian Rose Petal Moisture Mask Oh, actually, yeah, moisture mask. I thought they were going to call it a pack. And it looks like this. Fabulous. And actually, when I looked inside, right, it kind of reminds me of fresh mask. The fresh rose mask. If you have used it, you know what I'm talking about because um, they too have petals inside. But this one looks more pink. Um, but the fresh one looks more yellow but I think they would do the same thing I will try this one and sort of compare with the fresh one and see which one is better if this one works out better then it's a good buy because it's so much cheaper oh and actually when I was in the store I still only remember that uh, my nose sticker or pads uh, were running low and I saw this at their corner so that's why I got it it's called Pig Nose Clear. I don't know the relevance about pig nose, but there is a pig nose drawing here. <laughs> yeah, quite fun. Um, this is like a sticker sticking on your nose area, like here. And um, you wait for a few minutes, um, let it dry out, and then pull it out, and you will see a lot of blackheads. And it's quite gross, but it's kind of fun. And I enjoy using it. So I'm. I'm waiting to see if this one is good and I review that. Originally, I wanted to get one mascara from Holika Holika, but it was so popular that it sold out. So I end up with another one. Not sure if it's good, but the sales lady kind of like told me to try. So I love the packaging. I love the 50s drawing. I have a thing for it and I really, really love drawing like this. I think they're fabulous. And inside, you have a mascara and also eye makeup remover. So I think it's quite a good deal, so I get it. And I'll be reviewing this probably a little bit later because I'm trying out SK2 mascara at the moment. And give me some time, I'll review this for you and see if it's good. And I got some nail polishes because they are so reasonably priced. I know. I got this one. And do you see the little particles inside the jar? This one is not um, a nail polish. This one is actually a cuticle scrub, if I can call it that way. The idea is, right, you apply this on the cuticles of your finger and then you kind of rub it. It's like scrubbing. You kind of rub it and then something magic would happen. I don't know what, I haven't tried, but I will do and see how it goes. I think it's quite fun. 
And the other nail polish is a really, really genuine nail polish is this color. Reminds me of um, China Glaze uh, Recycle. The color is kind of gray and I'm looking to see if this one is good. And I also picked up one that is very, very not my color. It's this one. The reason I picked this one up because um, the sales lady tried it in front of me, right? And then the color turns matte and I quite like that texture. So I thought, oh, I don't have anything like this. So maybe I'll try. So I get this one. And the last item I got is not probably famous from the brand, but I don't know why I got it. Anyway, I was sold by the idea of the limited edition word. I know, put something on limited edition and I probably go buy, right? Um, this one is for body. It's like a body cream, but it's whitening, uh, super aqua cream. And it's quite a big jar. It's like this. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> And they say um, this one is specially designed for a Hong Kong first store, first Holika Holika store. So they said it's not sold anywhere else. And that's why I got this. Um, it has whitening function and it's moisturizing. And I tried the texture and it's quite good. It's quite um, like this. <clears throat> so I thought, you know, I give it a go. Not sure if it's good, but I review it and see if I like it. So, so much for now. I hope you really enjoy the haul as much as I am doing it. I have been really excited to try some of the fabulous Korean brand products and um, I have a feeling some of them are quite good already because I've been trying them. And um, like I said, I'll be reviewing each one of them on my blog. So if you're interested, look at my blog and stay tuned. And don't forget, if you have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Weibo, follow me and I'll be doing instant update there. So see you soon. Bye.